Hello there, internet lovelies, and all of our beautiful subscribers, the hopefully many of you. Um, and if you're not subscribed to us, you should be. This is another episode of Let's Play Detective Grimoire, the point-and-click adventure series that has us on the edge of our seats trying to figure out who killed Richard Remington and who is ruining Boggy's name by trying to make it seem like Boggy killed this man who isn't all that innocent, we're starting to find out. Um, we're getting close to the end, and we got pushed into the direction of talking to Officer James, so we're going to do that right now. A lot of fog and a lot Ah! Ah, you finally returned! Well, did you find the swamp creature? Where is he? I forgot all about him. I didn't find him. What swamp creature? I didn't find him. What? You're not getting paid to wander about aimlessly, Grimoire. Get back out there! I'll keep looking for him. I don't need to. This case can't be solved. I don't need to. Ooh! Final chapter. All right. Let's see if we can uh, maybe close some of this up. And maybe this will be the last episode. I don't know. We'll see how long this final chapter is going to be. Why not? I thought he was our prime suspect. Mm, well, uh, not anymore. Didn't you find photographic evidence of Boggy from last night? How do you Let know that? Let me see that photo. How did you know about the if picture? That's not Boggy, I haven't what spoken is it? to you since I got here. I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Well, nearly all of them. There's still the one that. But the footprints at the scene of the crime! How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? I heard. When he said, but the footprints, it sounded like he said what the ana anagram. Not anagram? No. What, um. WTF means when he said but the foots I heard WTF so I got confused for a second how can you prove these don't belong to a real creature I know they don't belong to a real creature because What's I found this? the missing page I thought there were no records of a footprint anywhere no public records the footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page they were just a product of these slippers a part of the costume but grimoire this costume it doesn't have claws of any kind. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's chest? The prongs. The prongs match up with the wounds perfectly. The handle's even covered in slime, see? Ah, but this swamp slime was one of the reasons Buggy became a suspect in the first place. But all Surely it this is only incriminates the creature further. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But that slime, it's not exactly what you think. It's soda. This stuff is an uncanny resemblance to the so-called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What is that, exactly? A poisoned hot dog. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply, just to make sure. To make sure of what? To make sure no one would eat at the cafe ever again to make sure everyone in the swamp would be poisoned to make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his office. To make sure Remington got ill and had to return to his office. So they're not Remington trying to kill everybody. Back to his office? Alone? The murder. Final chapter. I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out. Video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk me through them? Just rearrange the descriptions on the left to match the sounds on the right. Drag them around and keep swapping until you're happy with the order. And if you want to hear the sounds again, you can tap on them. No problem. I can always check my case file if I want to go over my notes. 
So this is what I've been doing since the moment I found this footage, is putting this all together and making the sense of it. Um, so that's kind of cool that they let you do that. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that was going to be something I kept in my head. Rips the curtain. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Um, falls backwards? I think that's it. There we go. I should have been talking while I was doing that, but I was actually just reading and like, I got so excited that I was like, yes, I figured this out way early on. Um, but man, that's, that makes me really excited that like, I put all that together and then I got to put it together in the game. Um, so I was just thinking about it. I was like, yes, 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 yes. Oh, excellent. Yes. There's just two small details bothering me. Okay. First of all, if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? Presents a clue. Who? I don't know if I have a clue for this one. If he ripped... Ooh, give me a second. Why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? I don't know. Did they take it? Why wasn't it found at the... Um... I don't know. It must be one of these three, right? Why wasn't it found at Why wasn't it I I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. Why wasn't it found? I Wasn't it found? Um, why wasn't it? 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 Wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened? I I don't know. Why wasn't it found at the crime? Wait. Hold on, guys. I might have to go back. Cause I don't know what happened to it. And there are couple that I miss. Um. You again. Don't let them take him. Who? Who? The murderer? That's my job. I gotta make sure that no, they... the creature. Don't take him away. This place is his home. Oh, We're not oh, taking Bobby. him away. Uh, hey, don't worry. I didn't really believe he could be uh, responsible for this mess. You didn't? Well, no. Mainly because I didn't think believe he existed at all. I don't believe he could ever hurt anyone. I always known who the murderer was, and it's mainly because I didn't believe he existed at all. So he won't get in trouble. He won't have to leave. Why all of a sudden well, do you he's care? He's been out here for what sixty years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long. I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in that case...
case, he says, thank you. Who is that little girl? I don't know, game. Okay, hold on. I think I had to look it up. Uh, I'm cheating a little bit. I realize I'm, I'm not cheating. I just it's the kind of gift shop wagon. At... Let's take a look. Okay, so brightly colored boggy baseball caps. Is there something behind them? What on earth? This thing doesn't seem to belong here at all. There it is! There's the fabric! Oh my god, okay. It's some kind of roughly made costume head, I think. And there's a strange piece of red fabric stuffed inside. Two clues for the price of one, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. It's a map of the swamp. Mine seems a little older than this one, though. It's a photo of the swamp entrance. Or it could be a painting. There's really no way to tell, you know? A boggy spot? Maybe I'll get one and surprise Officer James with... Boggy dolls, boggy toys, boggy postcards... Yeah, this stuff isn't half bad. Boggy dolls... Brightly colored... Is there... Boggy doll... Well, I wouldn't wear it. Maybe to sleep in. You know, not outside. Okay, so... Headpiece from a home out, homemade boggy costume found hidden amongst the boggy hats in the gift shop it has an unusual lining with red swirly pattern. Red lining was a piece ripped from some cap curtains. Folder says the design is in between the real creature and the cartoon character. I wonder uh. why was this here? Wait a minute. That is not something from my gift shop. I've never seen it before. That's all my clues. I've got all the clues now. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to Officer James. Because I I messed up. And I didn't, ah, I was missing clues. Returned. Well, um, so I'll speak through this bridger? so that you guys don't have Where to watch this again. Um, First of all, if Remington ripped off a all right, piece of his guys, curtains, here we are, we got all the way through, we found the fabric, what happened to and it? now I can answer this. What happened to it? Why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What happened to it? Oh, they found. I found it in the head piece. Turns out the murderer took that piece of fabric and concealed it inside the head of the costume. Then he fled the crime scene to hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp. Ah, well that's my problem. If Remington fired his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank? A man of his experience? I don't think so. In fact, the answer to that question is the very last link in our chain. The one thing that has eluded me so far. I'll drag the clue items from the left, onto my drawing here, and we'll see what happens when we compare the pieces I collected with the original design I found. He had a bulletproof vest. I like how for the pants it just has a crotch. This part's missing. Wait, you never found the body piece, the torso. You're right, and I never would have found it. Not because Echo around. is wearing it. Not like the others. Because he's wearing it underneath his What does his this poncho. have to do with the murderer surviving he's the rifle shot? That it wasn't this all torso is probably made out of some thick material. Something covering the culprit's entire upper body. I believe it may have even been enough to, to soften... soften the impact from a bullet! Aha! Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? How? We looked everywhere. Not a single clue. Simple. He's still wearing it. 
I don't know what you want with me. Sounds like you two are smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp, and lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you. You worked it out. He had his rifle on him. He got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation. But why would he do that? You were... You were dressed as Buggy. He shouldn't be pointing his gun at a unique scientific specimen, not to mention his main attraction. You're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret. Was framed because leads me to believe. Can't be proof that. Forgot to tell me that. Let's see. Bobby Burl, the fire poker. Fireplace poker. Echo. Our police files, Sally Spears, Richard Remington, my lost hat, hunting photo. No. Was stolen by Boggy, was here to hunt Boggy, it was Boggy in disguise. Our police file leads me to believe. Oh, Richard, Richard Remington is an option. Let's see. The hunting photo leads me to believe that Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. The hunting photo leads me to believe Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. But it doesn't change the fact that Echo killed him, A secret right? society, an order of hunters, seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man, and much further than this one swamp. The whole thing but you is still tried to kind poison of him. distressing. I knew something was wrong as two, soon as I stepped into that office. Right, I'm dude. glad you finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? He made Boggy his own personal project. His own obsession. Project. For years project? he hunted the creature. The potential perfect addition to his collection. But he owned the tourist attraction. He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since the area became protected, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy Spawn was just a front for his own little game. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not even exist. And that's yeah. why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Now, don't you see? I did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. You wanted everyone to think you were some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, They'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Everyone would finally realize they had no business here. Including you. But he's not a killer? You didn't have the right? How can you know what Boggy wanted? How can you know what Boggy wanted? He might not be what you... Your... Detective. You... You... It's... I... It's finished. Well, don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. You have... Another job to do. I... I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like you, but I never intended to kill him. Yeah, just, but you just still him. did. Convince him. Boggy wasn't going to let him live here in peace any longer. But... So then you were he going to his right terrorize him? You worked out the rest yourself. You're right. It doesn't make any difference. It makes a difference. Wait. It doesn't... You were right. No, I don't agree with him. He still killed somebody. Whether it was an accident or not, that's not my choice to decide. My choice, my job as the detective is just to make sure that the law is being, like, f collecting evidence and turning people over to the courts so then due process and they get charged if 
they killed somebody, which he did. It could have been manslaughter, it could have been an accident, but he still killed someone with a freaking fireplace poker. <sighs> well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down the... <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, there he is. I mean, I feel like he wasn't doing justice. He just wanted the guy to get out of his tree stump. My home. Uh -huh. Oh. Looks like you solved more than one mystery tonight. Hmm. All right, guys. That's interesting. It went from 92% to finished. Done with the game. Um, so... Thanks a lot for joining me on this little adventure. Um, now that the series is over, I will be starting another one. I'm thinking I have other puzzle games that I could do very easily, even as just one-off videos. Um, but I'm thinking I, uh, during the Steam Real Summer, so oh. Well, what did they decide to do? We had Mr. Everstone questioned. He was happy to tell not us the ending. everything he knew. A number of rumors going around the department have been confirmed. And Remington's office? Searched down to the last detail. And well, we agree with you. But I know what you're thinking. I'd love to put an end to it, just the same as you. But there's always... Are we going after them? We'd better be. To be continued. Alright, there must be other little Easter eggs for me to get because it did say 92% complete and if I finish the game, wouldn't it be at 100%? Um, but I'll go look for that on my own time. I won't make you guys sit through that. Um, but if you want to find them, always go ahead and download the game because why not? It was a lot of fun. Um, though you guys did have the ending spoiled for you. Um, yeah, so... The Steam Summer Sale hit, and I bought a bunch of co-op and solo games. Um, I'm thinking about really changing it up um, and maybe doing Bioshock 2 next. I have actually already played through that game. I finished it um, probably within two days of buying it. I absolutely loved it. Um, I'm not much of a first-person shooter, but that game is just fantastic. I know everybody's like, oh, you need to try Infinite. Bioshock 2 is where it's at. If you'd like to see me do that series, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I might be starting it pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so thank you guys for joining me on this adventure and dealing with all of my confusion and rambling and rumbling. Um, but yeah, this has been Detective Grimoire. Um, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, especially if you liked this video and if you like our other videos. We put out videos every week, um, multiple times a week. You know, we work pretty freaking hard just because we really enjoy it and we uh, want to just put these games out there for you guys and to entertain you because we are dancing monkeys. Um, <laughs> so thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you around. Bye. Yeah. Just that napkin money. Turn this up. Well, alright. I got the juice. You got the what? I got the juice. Okay, okay. I got the